Hey guys, it's Angel B here and welcome back to another mod video on my channel. Today we are going to be looking at farming, cooking, adventure and animal Minecraft mods. Um, at the time I'm recording this, I'm not sure how many mods I'm going to get through. Hopefully it's going to be 15 or 20 or even 10. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this yet. I'll wait until I'm finished. But before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you're not already. And let's get right into the video. This first Minecraft mod is called Creature and beasts. Now this adds a whole new bunch of creatures to the game such as these sporlings which spawn in the nether. These are like the different types you get in the nether but it also adds cinder shells which are a really cool nether creature as well as overworld shrimplings which are a lot cuter and a little less deadly but these are so cute nonetheless. It also adds little lizards which you can get around the world and little birdies, these little ducks. You can use a net and capture the lizards and you can replace them down in like your enclosure. This next Minecraft mod is called Better Animals Plus. Now this adds a whole new range of better animals to the game. I'm gonna first start off with aquatic creatures that it adds. This is some of them, these octopus or octopi, a few different types of fish, different types of squid, which look so freaking cool. And then we've got all these different types of aquatic creatures, even a seal. They are so detailed and really, really good looking. So some of the land creatures, it adds dragonflies and butterflies. You can capture them using a bottle and it'll turn into a glass bottle of a butterfly. Here is just a few other creatures, crabs, which look really cool, as well as moose. And they all come in different variants turkey and this really scary looking creature which is not that cute we also have eels bears brown bears black bears reindeers and deers boars squirrels which are adorable different colors of squirrels these are in forests these are one of my favorite just look how freaking cute they are this is what the bottled butterfly and bottled dragonfly look like you can place these down and you can create an enclosure for them you can rename them and stuff it also adds heads which you get from mob drops some of them are really cool such as the reindeer and the bear head but it adds so many different items including these capes you get leathers from different types of creatures this is what the capes look like when you wear them. <laughs> Next Minecraft mod is called Buddy Cards. Now this adds these Buddy Card packs, which you get from dungeons. You can open them and it'll give you collector's cards. You can collect these. There are so many different variants. You can also create a card shelf to display your cards, like your most valuable cards. You can also get a binder where you can store all of your cards. This is kind of like Pokemon card collection. <laughs> It just adds so many different cards to collect. If you really love collecting things within the game, this is perfect for you. This next Minecraft mod is called Farming for Blockheads. Now this adds a few new items to the game, such as fertilizer. You right click a crop and each fertilizer will have a different effect. Yellow one makes it so crops don't get trampled and the red one increases the speed of the crop growth. It also adds these feeding troughs as well as little nests. You put seeds or wheat in the troughs and the animals will eat from them. You're eating from the trough and now they're going to create a baby. It also adds this market block which you can craft using different coloured woods. And when you place it, it will spawn a villager where you can trade emeralds for seeds. It includes modded seeds such as all these tomato, onion, pea seeds that I have which are in a different mod. This next Minecraft mod is called Seren Seasons. Now this makes it so you can change seasons in the game. Each season contains sub-seasons to make the Minecraft days and seasons last longer. This is autumn, as you can see the leaves and the grasses change. We have winter, spring and summer. If you're also using mods that add seeds, you can grow each seed in different seasons. Next we have Simple Farming. Now this adds fruit trees, as you can see here. You can use bone meal to get them faster. It adds new crops such as oats, cucumber and eggplants. It adds some new types of berries and a scarecrow such as strawberries and blueberries and raspberries, all the favourites and also all these new foods. These are the different types of seeds. These are some of the dishes you can craft such as curries, pies and here are some ingredients and alcohol you can craft. Here on the side is basically everything that the mod adds. Just a whole new bunch of fruits 
vegetables and foods. And now we have the Simply Tea mod. Now this simply adds tea. It adds these tea trees, which are basically just tea saplings. You can plant them and you'll get tea and tea leaves. In this barrel, we have a teapot, which you craft by crafting an unfired teapot and then smelt it. And then you'll get a regular teapot, which is empty. You can also get cups in the same process. Here is all the items in Simply Tea. You've got all the different teas. You can fill a teapot up with milk or water. And this is how you craft the tea bags. You use petals, a dandelion and a tea bag, or black tea in a tea bag. So you get the tea leaves, you smoke them in a smoker and you'll get the tea leaf, black tea leaf. And to create the actual cups of tea, you will need to tea, get a teapot full of water by just filling it up like this and then you want to put it in a furnace. You can then take a teacup. Now we've got a boiling teapot. You put the teapot in, the teacup, and the tea bag of your choice, and you will get some tea. And then you can drink it, and it will give you a caffeinated effect. It's just a simple tea mod. Now this next mod is called Tiny Mob Farm, and you can craft tiny mob farms, these little blocks here. What you do is you take a lasso, capture an animal, a creature and place it in the mob farm. Make sure it is above a chest so the mob drops will go into the chest. There is different tiers and different ones do different effects so you get the drops quicker and some you can only use farm animals and then you have to upgrade in order to use creatures. And it's just a very simple way to get mob drops. This next Minecraft mod is called Alex's Mobs. Now this adds all these different types of creatures in the game. It adds this book which tells you about each creature, such as a seal, a cockroach, a shoe bill, a raccoon, just so many different creatures and a blobfish. I'm going to show you what some of the creatures look like. So here we have these grizzly bears, roadrunners, which all of them have really cool animations. These gazelles, which I think I recognize from, oh, I forgot the movie. There's a movie. <laughs> here is the gorillas. There is cockroaches, which look really creepy. We've got the raccoons. And the mobs also drop items, such as this rattlesnake skin, which you can make a maraca or out of, make some music. <laughs> Here are a bunch of items too. It adds a blood sprayer, which is also a drop. You craft it by a drop from a creature. It tells you about all this in the book and what mobs drop what. Here we have so many different stuff, such as a bit of armor, antlers, and obviously the blobfish bucket which is it's just it's just really cute and here is the antlers on my head <laughs> as well as some roadrunner boots which give me speed this next minecraft mod is called vice of life carrot edition and it adds a food book this keeps tracks of all of your hearts you've gained food values your foods you've tasted it shows you a list of all the foods you have ate so i'm gonna go and get my hunger down a little bit okay so we actually got attacked but that's okay because our hunger is down so i'm gonna eat a cookie and a carrot and if i open the book again it'll say i am five my, my next milestone is five so i need to try five different foods and i'll get two hearts and that goes on for as many foods there are in the game it shows you all the modded foods in the game not just vanilla so if you've got loads of mods this will be perfect to keep track of what you've ate and also you get more hearts the more you eat this next minecraft mod is called Macaw's Furniture and this adds a whole new bunch of furniture to the game such as these displayed right here. They are all vanilla, vanilla feeling and they all have an inventory space. They are crafted with panels and cabinet doors here. There is also stools and desks and just a whole new bunch of furniture. Here are some of the chairs. And here are all the items, different types of wood, even a warped wood type. So that is it for this Minecraft video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please leave a like and comment me your favorite mod that you have found. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.